We are live, motherfuckers! That's bad. Welcome <laughs> to the internet. Hey, hey guys, guys, I'm Ashley. And I'm Alicia. And we are Jake's Ren. Ashley and I are music producers and DJs, and normally on our channel you'll find remixes and our original music. But today we have something really special for you guys. We're going to be doing a review and unboxing of Okashi Connection. Okashi Connection is a monthly Japanese subscription service. We're really excited that somebody decided to package all their favorite treats and snacks and share it with the world. We're just really excited to get into the box, let you know how the stuff tastes, if it's and if the box is worth getting, and worth your money as well. So let's get started! Are we ready? Let's slice this open. Whoa! I'm so excited for this though. I'm, I'm scared there's gonna be weird and interesting flavors in there that I've never tasted. I'm looking forward to Everybody. that. Oh, okay. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, the, should we look at it? I no, let's not look at it. I don't know why we haven't tried Japanese food before. <laughs> because this stuff looks bomb. Let's do this. We have something in a white packet. I'm excited. Wanna smell it? You just <laughs> snip it? Yeah. I would do the same thing. We are sisters. Mmm, okay. What are these guys? They're like little puffed fried pieces of dough. <laughs> they smell a little spicy. They literally look like croutons. Yes, croutons. What kind of flavor do you think it has if you have to describe it? Oh, um, like a pizza flavor. I don't know. I want to say like a pizza. Definitely a pizza taste. I want to say like a little bit of soy sauce. Oh. Do you taste soy sauce? Mm -hmm. There's these green, little, little, soy little soy green bits on there, so it's definitely something leafy. Like parsley or something. Watch it be like dill. Oh, I hate dill. No, but it, <laughs> we okay, love it. We love it. <laughs> so I'm just going to go through the pamphlet just to see what it is. Okay. It is called Don Don Yeah. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. I'm so sorry. Okay. It says, these are little senbei, rice crackers, style snacks that pack a sauce flavoring. In Japan, sauce equals words... Oh. Someone's got to pay me to say this word. <laughs> say this word. Worcestershire. 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 Bruh. Who comes up with these words and why? They are crispy but in a grainy way and have a strong, satisfying flavor from the sauce. It definitely tastes like there's sauce on there. Yeah. It is delicious. I would buy these. Yes, yes. Oh my god, guys. This looks so good. It's called Ginza. It's by Ginza Rusk. Ginza App Rusk. And it says on the packaging, it's a harmony of specially selected chocolate and cube rusk, which is brought by our original method. Bruh. It's brought by the original method. It's brought by the original like method. Like this? Like they went here. I'm bringing this to you. And it's the original way. <sighs> Tell me what that smells like. Ooh, vanilla. Rice Krispies. Right? That's vanilla exactly what I was thinking. Rice Krispies. Let's try it up. Thank you. Okay, so thank you. I'm so excited. Oops. Mm. Cheers! Cheers! Mmm. Definitely tastes like um like rice krispies that has that kind of um popped rice in it, I feel, and yeah. it's mixed with white chocolate. It's very good. The original way in which they brought it is bomb. Yeah. Is da bomb. Next thing we're gonna try is it's called Renkon Mix. It's Satsumo Imo and Renkon chips. My Japanese treats, nothing tastes the way I think it would. Tastes almost like a yam. It's very sweet. You would think like a potato chip taste. It's not bad, it's very good. Renkin is a lotus root. Lotus root. Not a lotus root. <laughs> it's a lotus root. Looks like. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. It's, it's got it's a little soup. In guys, guys, room. there's a little bear. What well, looks like in a ladle. So they somehow found a way to turn soup into a cracker. Let's open this up. 
They really are thin in this tray. They're like little thin chips. Wow. It tastes good? Interesting, yeah. I'm going to take two because I'm greedy. They don't taste the way they smell. <laughs> they definitely do pack a lot of flavor. They taste like onion, like onion soup or cream of broccoli soup. They taste like sour cream and onion chips. Mm. These chips are called fudgy cream stew chips. Cream stew makes sense. Have you ever had cream stew? Have you yeah. ever had cream stew? No, until now. Okay, well, we're gonna get then. into the next item. This, this thing just fell right out at me, so I'm gonna try this. I have uh, Milky, the title is Milky, it's a green packaging. There's Hello Kitty versus uh, Pico on it. Pico, I guess, must be a Japanese character. Mm. Um, it looks like it's matcha flavor. Pop this bad boy open. Oh, they're cute little candies, they're all wrapped up. Ooh. Oh god, it tastes like black licorice. <laughs> I'm not fond of the flavor. Let's pick up the next item from here. Ooh, and I, I gotta choose this one. This one looks so fun. It's so cute. <sighs> There's so many things in here. It's like a party mix. Let's start with this egg-looking mushroom, I mean marshmallow thing. Oh, I don't know what I ripped it open, but... Oh! There's a surprise on the inside. You know what I think it is? Yeah? I think it's like a black bean? Or maybe chocolate. Mm, chocolate. Not black bean. <laughs> That was delicious. I liked it. The chocolate and marshmallow, you can never go wrong. I got an orange, orange little sweet treat. I think that would taste good. It kind of looked like rockets. Ooh. Mm. Whoa. Mm. They're so soft. Like they're very, when you put them in your mouth, they're already melting. They're definitely like rockets. They're like pressed powder, powdered sugar that's flavored. Let's see this one. The little happy guy, he looks so happy to be on here. It one? says something, mo mochi taro. Taro's chocolate, isn't it? Mm. No. No, taro's that uh, yam. Oh. Oh. Actually, it looks the same. Look, they're fried looking rice, rice cracker. Yeah, they look exactly the same. Mmm, tastes the same. This one has less flavoring. Yeah, less pungent. Very good though. These ones are a little plain. I like that. Sometimes you don't want that pungent. You just want a little airy snack. It's a very nice light snack. It's still salty. I think that's the only seasoning on it, but I prefer the first one a little bit more. Do you want to try the sticks? Yeah, let's try the sticks. Let's try the sticks. Wow, they're really like, look how light that is. Apparently these are really, really good. Um, like They're like a recommend for a lot of like subscribers of the boxes. Wow. I definitely a Cheeto taste. I like that. It's so light and airy. It was really good. Very cheesy. Good cheesy taste, not overbearing cheesy. Because sometimes you can really taste that artificial cheese taste in yeah. some chips, and I really don't like that. This was very nice and light. And the chip itself, like the crack, I don't know, what would you call this? The cheese tube. Um, cheese tube itself was very light and airy and easy to bite into. Let's look it up. Umebo mentai. Oh no, actually, we didn't get a rod one. Oh, sorry, a, a cod one. <laughs> pamphlet says that it's a umebo ebi mayo and ebi ebi means shrimp and I don't think that was shrimp either. Yeah, it tastes like shrimp. If that tasted like, if that was shrimp or caught, give me more. Yeah. That was good. Really, because it tastes like cheese and who's not with cheese? cheese like, exactly. Yes, please. <laughs> I feel like this would taste like carrot. A carrot? Know, or this would have been the cheese. I one. thought that would have been cheese. cheese. <laughs> Maybe this one is shrimp. That's my guess. Mmm, that was good. None of these tasted like what they said they did. I don't know what flavor that is. It kind of tastes a little barbecue y. So, the one in my hand says it's called a ume jelly, a soft jello with a fruity flavor. Oh, this is a umaibo hard a coffee hard candy. A pill shaped hard candy with a smooth coffee taste. Smooth. Mm. Smooth coffee taste. Smooth. I hate coffee. Why do I end up with all the teas yeah, and coffee? Yeah, you let's switch. What the hell is coffee at all? It's like a little hard candy. Damn it, I trade the good one away. <laughs> the 
Wow. <laughs> it wasn't good? What's it taste like? Explain! <laughs> Explain to the people! <laughs> it's mushy! <laughs> chocolate strawberry goodness happening and I'm okay with that. It's chocolate and strawberry goodness on a stick and anything that comes on a stick isn't bad. It's bueno. Mine is called Meiji and it's called Fran. Maybe Meiji is friend. I think Meiji is a friend. friend. <laughs> <laughs> it could also be your friend. Oh my god, these are <laughs> these are literally chocolate bats. <laughs> like, let's see. Look at the size of that. That is huge. There's three um three pocky lookalikes. <laughs> three pocky knockoffs. <laughs> There's three pocky knockoffs in each um. <laughs> what if pocky knocked off them? We don't know. I know. Tell us in the comments below <laughs> if you know. Who ripped you off? <laughs> Well, thanks for offering you. <laughs> oh yes, it's oh, okay. yourself. Sorry, I saw the chocolate. I said mine. Mmm, not a crunchy bat. Creamy vanilla strawberry flavor, classic. These are way better than hockey one because they're thicker. Mm-hmm. Did my, you? My default is better. Did you ever open a bag of hockey that was already broken? Someone came in like. Crush all of them. Okay, guys, our box is finally completed. There's no more goodies left for us in here. Um, I'm stuffed, but I can honestly say I really enjoy the box. I think Okashi Connection is worth a shot. Yeah. It's worth the monthly subscription, and what you're getting inside is really quality goods, good snacks, and things that you're gonna like. Um, I've definitely ate things that I've never had before, but I can't say that anything was really bad besides the matcha tea. Matcha tea is a personal preference. I didn't like that. I like how there's a range of different flavors and textures and sweets and salties and savories. I really yes. enjoyed that in the snacks because it really shows the diversity of Japanese snacks. I really enjoyed it. I would definitely get it again. I would too. I, we can't wait for next month's box, December's box, and it'll probably be Christmas themed, so we'll see yes, what a Japanese, Japanese Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Right, guys, thank you for checking out our video. Please subscribe if you like what you see and leave feedback below in the comment sections. Let us know how we're doing and if you want to see anything else. Thanks guys, take care. Bye! I'm just fixing my hair because I, I know some strays are gonna, it's gonna irk some people when they watch. Look, you hit this right here, that was on my neck, so yeah. I'm gonna be like, yo, y'all need to move that. Get your shit together. Something else? So we're gonna bring another... <laughs> really special for you guys. We're gonna be doing a... That was not English. English. <laughs> I speak English, I swear. <laughs> is a Japanese subscription box that gets delivered to your house monthly. Here's our address, come find us, follow us. Literally follow us. Yeah. <laughs> and